All right, in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to change a prop on the Yamaha F70. Now, there's a good reason why I'm changing this prop, and it has to do with the current prop that's on it, which is a Solus uh, 13 and a half by 15 pitch. What happens with this engine and this boat, this classic Montauk whaler, is the engine will only reach 5,300 RPM. It's a 6,300 RPM engine, and you really want to hit the top when you're at wide open throttle. Not that you're going to operate it that way on a daily basis, but uh, that matches the prop to the hull, to the to the engine. So I did a little research, and Yamaha does make a prop uh, for this. I'll put the uh, model number um, in the uh, description below in case you guys or anybody's interested in, in uh, getting one. Problem is, it's a little bit pricey. It's about I, I'm a good day for 50 if you can find it, but uh, realistically more around $550. So I did a little bit of homework and what I found was that for better or worse Powertech makes a stainless prop that is for all practical purposes identical in width 13 and a quarter and pitch by 14 to the prop that is recommended for the uh, Yamaha F70 and the classic Montauk 17. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that, see how it works out. Now, I do wanna cover pitch a little bit. Here's the actual replacement prop. Um, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but there's two key factors. There's diameter um, and pitch, which is basically the angle of this. Now, the way pitch is described as this prop does one full rotation, the amount of distance it travels is the pitch and that can be expressed in inches or in millimeters or centimeters whatever they use in uh, in the metric standard um, i also have I have a neat little diagram here that i found on the internet that describes it you can see the top one uh, travels 21 inches so it's a 21 pitch and the bottom one travels 13 inches so it's a 13 pitch so the one i'm going to put on here um, again the size and pitch is identical to the yamaha um, high performance one which is 13 and a quarter by 14 pitch. The stainless uh, solar prop that's on here now is 13 and a half by 15, and it's just, it's too much prop for this combination. Before I do that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and get notifications when I put videos up in the future. So the tools you'll need, a 22 millimeter socket, and hopefully a socket wrench, a torque wrench, because you do want to apply the specified torque. I've got two sets of pliers, needle nose and regular pliers and a piece of two by four so having said that let me go ahead and get started change the prop out and show you exactly how i'm going to do that and what the components are to hold the prop onto an f-series uh, outboard all right so the first thing we're going to do is pull out the carter pin now this prop might spin on me might not There we go. Throw that away. Do not reuse your cotter pins. Next, I'm going to take the 2x4, wedge it up here and block it. Take my wrench with the 22 millimeter socket and take off that cashel nut. Now these washers that are going to come off, the orientation is really important. So that this actually covers the uh, splines, if you can see that. Then this washer fits right into the hub, and they go on like this. There's another washer behind the prop. And we don't have to take that one off. But here's something interesting. This fishing line all caught up in here. So we might want to take it off. I'm going to get a close up. Um, this thing's been beat up a little bit. But I have got a little bit of an issue with this because when I did the lower unit, there was evidence of water in the oil. And I haven't gotten around to resolving this, but this very well could be the cause of that. And it may have destroyed the uh, the seal. I don't know that for a fact, but it's around pretty tightly around this. 
So remember the orientation, the piece with all the threads, actually the shorter piece goes back towards the engine, like so. Matter of fact, I don't think you can actually put it on the wrong way, to be honest with you. It doesn't appear that it'll allow it, but I have got to step away, cut this loose. Uh, this is a bit of a mess here. And I'm hoping it didn't damage the seal, but uh, we'll find out when I take the boat out next. All right, so I'm back, and I got all of that fishing line. Um, probably Kevlar based. It's uh, uh, the stuff's a pain in the butt, but I got all that off, and I cleaned this up a little bit with some steel wool, and we'll put this back on in a second. But before we do that, I'm going to grease this up. And I'm also going to show you something. I uh, printed a page out from the manual. And just to double check myself, uh, the manual is kind enough to do a blow up and show you the direction that it should go in. So that's actually pretty cool. I appreciate that. Now, I'm a big fan of the BRP Triple Guard grease. It's really, really thick. Uh, it goes on. Not that easy. Because getting it out of the tube is kind of a pain. But it definitely... Uh, will uh, give you some protection and keep things from seizing up and it is thick all right so it's lubed up we'll put the uh, Spacer, first washer on. All right, so I got the new prop, and I just want to check something to make sure it fits right into there, which it should, and it does. Beautiful. Put the cups on the same way, make sure it engages the teeth, which it does. Then this cup goes on in the reverse direction. All right, so one thing I like to do, I always get a manual for the engines I'm working on. And this will tell you what the correct um, torque is. And it's actually 25.8 foot-pounds. see if I can get a close-up of this. And yeah, that's odd because I think the last Mercury I worked on was 50 foot-pounds. So it's, a, it's actually pretty light. Um, kind of surprising, but... It's Yamaha. I'll go by their uh, specs. So let me set the torque wrench to 25. So that's 25. There's 26. Slightly less than 26 would be 0.8. We'll get the block of wood. Notice that uh, this is a bit smaller than the last one, quarter inch, because the last one was 13 and a half, so the, the two by four wedge right up in there. This one takes a little more. Now, I'm going to see where that castle nut lines up. Because the instructions basically say if it doesn't line up correctly, to tighten it up a little more, which is what I'm going to do. I want to basically send it so I can get that cotter pin in there perfectly straight. That's as centered as it's going to get. All right, now that we've got it torqued to spec, I'm going to do a cotter pin. Try to do this as easy as possible. And yes, I put it in gear. Which is fine because we're not torquing, <clears throat> we're not torquing it to any extent.
All right, so the new prop is installed, nice and shiny. Hopefully we'll have the same performance um, that we would expect. My hope is to get this out in the next couple of days. Uh, it's late October, but we're in North Carolina. The weather fluctuates wildly here. And the last time I checked, Sunday was supposed to be 85 degrees. So we're gonna take it down to the lake, get it in the water, um, see how this prop performs. And hopefully we'll get another video and show you what the difference is and whether this is a good alternate to the Yamaha prop that I have in the description. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's been helpful to you. If it has, hit share and like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.